walking. Get outside. Do it now. Jericho is running to heat as Wheelman's down. Get him out before the backup's on us. Alright everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Driver 2, and this is slow, and we now need to yank Jericho out of the mess he made himself, because he's too lazy to figure it out himself. Ayavato is too busy just shooting the living daylights out of everything. This mission, I think, is just a simple compilation of get from point A to point B, and then get to point C with police intervention. Nothing too special, I believe, although I think the time limit is a little tough. So here we go, we have now arrived at the BANK. And that car is bouncing around a little bit. Hooray for BS1 graphics. And now we instantly have a bunch of cops wailing at our ears. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah this was the mission that I... Those sides sections are... That wall is not very well defined and doesn't render close enough to uh, allow you to see it in time if you're unfortunately ended up at that section of the road, so taking a hit is sometimes inevitable, however I think the time limit is generous enough in this mission that it gives you the opportunity to um, continue the mission regardless, unless of course one of the police vehicles hits you, in which case you're probably going to be left to critical HP. Yep. The whole head on thing there. That's gonna bite you constantly in several of the later missions from here on out. This was probably one of the moderate complaints of the original driver was that the missions didn't have much in the way of variety. And um, from what I can tell, Driver 2 didn't get m m didn't get accused of that so much. But as we are going through the LP, it's become apparent that it's basically it's relying on very similar oh, tactics over and over again and I believe that was pro the main reason why Driver 3 was made as it is because GTA had came out and if they had made a game that didn't have the variety of missions that GTA 3 and Vice City it has then they would have been criticised heavily so they implemented the walking and shooting mechanisms of Driver 3 and they apparently didn't fare so well. And I believe that was actually the last game that Reflections made because Parallel Lines I think was made by Ubisoft. So anyway there's another case of the kind of not well defined finishing point but were honestly worse ones. We got back with some help to spare but not much. Oh yeah we have to close the door as well, that's pretty mean. And we get to slam the door into the vehicle. Nice. Our driver went down. The medics got him in a convoy. Any bad? Yeah, good. But we got a guy up down and he's slapping back together. Okay, and yeah, now the next mission, and this mission has its own dedicated fail tarnish, because this is the Revenge of Havana Hijack Patrol, aka Guy Chasing Us, harsh transitions that I put in myself, 
instant, infinite density trucks and yeah randomized routes and timings and all the rest of it one another thing that's annoying about it is that if you start attacking it too early the police vehicle will ram into the ambulance and cause you to fail anyway Actually thought that was the take at which that happens, but no, I just end up falling too far behind. I will point out that take when it eventually shows up because the first time I saw it, I WTF'd right into the fi thing or something. Yeah, I think this was the one. Just watch this. He instantly started attacking him, his health goes down, get, get in the ambulance. Your vehicle's wrecked. The gigantic pause there was probably me slamming my face into the keyboard, knowing my luck. I think it happens again this take, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it does. I'm pretty sure the police vehicle ran... Nope. The police vehicle didn't even ram into it, so... It's a pretty strange glitch. In the end, this mission doesn't re isn't anywhere near as bad as hijack the truck in terms of its randomness. You can deal sufficient damage during the early point to make it so that you only need to hit him once when he gets out of this corridor section in order to finish the mission. In comparison to the other one where the round started randomizing almost instantly. There's the old case of we have to self-destruct the police vehicle in order to get into the ambulance. That actually makes me wonder if the difficulty setting for the um, police actually doesn't relate to the AI but rather relates to how much health it has. Because it shouldn't take that much little damage to take out a police vehicle surely. Now we are basically returning to the Mission 1 safe house and I believe I is the Mission 1 safe house this time. Yep, it is exactly the same safe house as for Mission 1. Got it right this time. Hooray. Anyways, this is the end of the mi mission. I believe the next mission is very tough, so that will be coming on the next video. Until then, this has been slow. Farewell.